So now I'm going to talk to you about exporting and then importing uh, whatever you've created in Harmony to whatever game engine you use. In this case, I'll be talking about Unity because we have created a nice integration between Harmony and Unity. Uh, and like I was saying previously before, it was a little more cumbersome to try to bring your animations in from one program to the other. But now, because of a proprietary file type that we have called a TBG, that file is basically a container that when you export it, will dump everything into the project folder of your uh, whatever you're making in Unity, and it'll show up exactly as you created it in Harmony, so your hierarchy gets reproduced, uh, which is super cool, because now you can also update your animations in Harmony and just hit the export button, and it'll overwrite all the assets that are in Unity without you having to go and delete your old Unity files first for your assets and then bring back everything that you just made before. So that's something that I'm really hyped about. It's really cool. So to get exporting, it's very simple. You can export one of two ways. So the first way is to export if you're going to be using uh, like a rig or puppet animation. So you would choose something like this to export to Sprite Sheet. And that's just gonna do what I showed before uh, in the previous video where it shows you the exploded view of the character. And that would be something that you just like select your destination, uh, which would be your project folder for Unity. And then it'll tell you in here all your clips that are labeled out by the scene markers. And then you can have all these other options like you know, expanding your sprite sheet up to a certain size, um, if you want to delete old clips or not, and if you want to encode to TBG. We do set, uh, support the ability to go into XML exports. So that's basically all your information that you had, but not wrapped up in a TBG file. The reason you'd want to do that is if you want to do more uh, without having to rely on the TBG file specifically. But if you're using Unity, for instance, the TBG file is the way to go. So if you want to export as a sprite sheet sequence for frame by frame, by frame animation, you'd use the EaselJS export, which is basically using EaselJS to export all your frames of animation on the timeline into one big sprite sheet. And then here you can also choose the size of each uh, frame of animation that you want, if you want to put it all on one sprite sheet together, and then also you choose whatever destination folder you want to, and in this case it would be your Unity folder. So then once you hit export, everything gets dumped out into that folder that you chose, and now we can move over to Unity. So now we're in Unity. So as you can see, all the animation information we created in Harmony is now in Unity. And as you can see as well, his entire hierarchy has been recreated. So you have access to all the frames of animation. You also have access to all the game bones. So now you can manipulate those and work with those. You can rotate them. You can do what you need to. Um, if you need to make small adjustments in animations, you can also do it here within Unity itself or you can go back into Harmony and do all the major changes that you need to there as well. One of the other things that I think is really, really cool is the scene markers in Harmony that denote what is an animation clip, that in the export process actually tells Unity that, oh, this is an animation clip. And so what Unity does, it creates an animation controller for your character, which is super cool. So all your character states are already built out. Now, it you might have to rework and jig this a little bit depending on your project, but as a really good starting point, it organizes everything as you need it to be. Um, another thing that you can do is you can actually access all the TB rendering uh, features here too, so you can actually change the palettes for your characters here just to make sure that they all work. You can uh, look at the global skins as well. Um, you can also see whatever IK that's been added. And then also, once we go into the game itself, we've made a little game demo. We'll just run it right now. All those features with the skinning lets you also, and this is all because of the scene markers as well, lets you now code so that you can control palettes, you can control shirts, you can control you know, pants, apron. You can really do it however you want to. It's up to you how you manage those features. But basically, having the scene markers in Harmony lets you create all these features here within Unity. And now you can also, now we have Sly also in this environment and you can run around and walk and test out some objects, throw them around, that kind of stuff. He's, because of the game bones, by the way, we were able to add like things like collision detection so that he can accurately walk over the environment and also interact with the objects. So the objects themselves have physics as a result of being able to access the game bones that were created within Harmony. So that wraps up exporting and importing from Harmony to Unity.